प्रोसेपेग्नोजिया का मतलब क्या होता है प्रोसेपेग्नोजिया सो so, अनजान मारना किसी का चेहरे को अगर आप पहचान नहीं कर पाए तो इसको कहते हैं प्रोसेपेग्नोजिया सो यू डोंट नो हु आर यू द पेशेंट विल नॉट बी एबल टू रिकॉग्नाइज योर फेस दैट इज कॉल्ड प्रोसेपेग्नोजिया दिस वी फिनिश्ड डिड वी फिनिश दिस नो नो और इट इज डिजावो फॉर मी देर इज समथिंग कॉल्ड डिजावो जमाइसवो सो इट लुक्स वेरी फेमिलियर आई होप आई हैव नॉट एट फिनिश दिस पार्ट ऑफ द क्लास राइट हाँ नाउ एब्लेशन ऑफ समेटो सेंसरी एरिया वन ऑफ द सेरिब्रल कॉटेक्स what does it lead to it lead to the loss of tactile sensation localization and two point discrimination is what you have to basically remember chirag goel please download the uh please download the u medico app discussion forum may it is already there so just start uh, uh expressing on the discussion forum in the u medico app yes uh <clears throat> yes so doctor if you look at the brain occipital lobe is for the vision then post central gyrus is sensation pre central gyrus is the movement and typically in the area which is inferior frontal you have the judgment then you have the limbic system pepes circuit where the reward memory sensations are there and the pain is carried through the spinal cord and coordination is done by the cerebellum is what you have to basically remember now there are two somato sensory areas somato sensory area 1 where thigh thorax neck shoulder and the fingers tongue abdomen they are all carried by somato sensory area 1 somato sensory area 2 is the one which is carrying the sensory information of the leg arm and face this is what you have to be 100% sure about so if you take this map this is one map that should go and sit in your mind recently we discussed no all broadband area yesterday's class mein so this is a continuation of that area 1 2 3 what is this called as area 1 area 2 area 3 that is basically uh, called primary somato sensory area 1 it is called as then you have the 40 40 is called secondary somato sensory area 2 and uh, the broadman 5 and 7 they are called the somato sensory association area this is what you have to be very clear about let me tell you doctor neuroanatomy neurology khelte khelte sikh lena few things rehta hai hum postpone karte gaye to always the rule is what face the reality instead of running away from it instead of feeling anxious about it face the reality that should be the single liner in your story can i prepare can i remember can i not remember in exam agar exam mein nahi crack kiya to kya hoga ye sab muljan ko pack it in the dustbin go and face the situation so read those 650 topics play the quizzes on the umedico app bookmark on the notes attend every day and play quiz with your classmates you should be audacious doctor to face the reality called the pg entrance exam which is a small stumble block before which you, you will cross anyway right so neuroanatomy is one such stumble block face it chase it and then kill it so doctor this is the primary somatosensory cortex 
and it is in a close relationship with the thalamus. Thalamus is the place where all sensation going up, the pain, temperature, touch, vibration, everything will ultimately get reported in the thalamus. And from the thalamus, they will all get related to the primary somatosensory cortex. So the touch, proprioception, nociception, temperature, they are all the somatic sensations. From the receptors in the periphery, they reach the spinal cord. And uh, anterolateral spinothalamic tract carries them all the way to reach the thalamus. From the thalamus, they reach the primary somatosensory cortex is what you have to remember. Touch and proprioception reach the spinal cord through gracile from the spinal cord up to the uh, medulla they reach as uh, gracile and cuneate tracts. From there they become the medial lemniscus and ultimately reach the thalamus. So this is what you need to remember. Can you give me the uh, board please? Once more, let me reinforce to you that in the brain, in the brain, typically there is a post uh, central gyrus which is called the sensory area. Then you have the pain receptor. Touch and vibration receptors. The pain receptors reach the spinal cord and uh, from the dorsal horn, they immediately decussate to the opposite side, they become the anterolateral spinothalamic gland. They send up and reach the and reach the lower medulla, and from medulla they will ascend up. And ultimately reach the thalamus, and from thalamus they get relayed into the somatosensory area one. Then the touch and vibration, they reach the dorsal horn, and they ascend up as cuneate and facile, uh, uh, gracile and cuneate tracts. They reach the lower medulla ipsilaterally and from here they go contralaterally to the opposite side, the deficit there and they are carried as medial lemniscus, medial lemniscus and they also reach the thalamus and from the thalamus they go to the somatosensory area. That way this somatosensory area has which order neurons? The first order neurons are between the receptor to spinal cord. I mean, the first order neurons start from the uh, from here to here. From there, they are carried by the cuneate and gracile tracts, and from there they are carried by medial lemniscus. From there they are carried to reach the sensory area. So this is how the journey is what you have to ultimately remember. That's right. Paritosh says all sensations are being reported to the thalamus except the smell. Olfaction jo hota hai thalamus ko batane ke bina hi chale jata hai. So if you look at the different areas whenever you are getting touch, you are getting the pain or vibration etc uh, etc et they are all represented on the somatosensory cortex with a sensory human killers just like motor human killers is mein kiska representation jada hai our face ka sensations are very very important if you want to be romantic then ultimately your palm ka sensations must be very accurate if you want to be a good surgeon so they are Maximum represented is what you need to remember. So once more, the face, the hand have the highest amount of representation in the sensory cortex. In the humunculus is uh, what I like to underscore to all of you. So you have a motor cortex, you have a sensory cortex. If you compare the two, both in motor cortex and sensory cortex, 
the face and the palm have the highest amount of representation is what I want to ultimately underscore to you. 